Hi everyone, this is Shazzy B. Welcome to my channel. I'm making this video to show you guys how I do my high bun. Uh, before I get started, I just want to tell you what I have in my hair. Uh, when I washed my hair um, a few days ago, I put in the Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner. And I followed that with uh, sesame oil, which I have in this bottle. And on top of that, I used a moisturizer because it's winter and you need a moisturizer in your hair. So this one's not mine. I borrowed some from my mom. And it's the Elastic QP Olive and Mango Butter Moisturizer. I just use a very small amount of that in my hair. And on top of those three things, I put my gel, which is the Mocha de Gorilla Gel. I'm not using Eco Styler Gel because the glycerin is making my hair uh, dry. So I'm using this, and this is the sport. I still have the red when it's almost done, so I kept the little that was left in that um, container so that I can do a product review and let you guys know the difference between this and the red. Uh, so that's what it's in my hair. And I put a little bit of Eco Styler on the sides of my hair, but not much, just a little um, drop of it. Uh, so what I what you need to do this style is a banana comb. Uh, this one that I have is a little bit wider than most. It's very difficult to find it. I'm looking for it for someone, but I haven't been able to find it yet. But uh, if you can find that, you're very lucky. And you need about a dozen of these bobby pins. Uh, so that's what I, I have um, to do this style. So what you need to do is separate the section that you want as a bang and pin it on the side however you want it. So I already separated this area and I just put my hand underneath and to fold it and I pinned it on the side uh, because you know that's what I plan to use as my bang. I have done this tutorial many many times and it's a little bit difficult filming it on my phone so uh, hopefully this take is the, the last one because I can't uh, make this video again. Normally I just sit and talk so this is a little unusual for me making it so many times. So what you do is you start in the middle uh, let me scoot down a little bit. So you start in the middle and you pull your hair up. You want the hair stretched. And you just want to make sure that the middle is not bulky. Uh, so you pull the hair up and you bring it to the place where you want your, your bun to be. So you're doing it as though you're making a ponytail. Uh, so you pull the back up. And my hair is already stretched because I've done it so many times. So... It's a little bit easier. So you pull all the hair up into your hand like this. And so, you know, that's the back. So that's what it looks like. So um, all my hair is up now. So the next thing you do is you put your ponytail, your uh, banana comb, and you want to put it across this way. Uh, so make sure it's centered on your hair so always hold it in the middle so you know how much over you have to go uh, so I'll put that on here and you know make sure it's centered and then I'll close it Okay, so now it's closed, and you may have to adjust it a little, so you just push the hair up uh, to adjust it to the place you want it, and it'll bring it up. Okay, so the next thing after you have that in is you want to fan your, fan your hair out, so all the way around. Pull it to the back and the sides, everywhere around, so it's like this. Okay, so once you have it fanned out like that, see it's like that all the way around. So once you have it fanned out like that, you want to pull the hair. And, you know, my ends are always curly, so you twirl it like this. And then put your fingers under, you know, two fingers. You put it under and fold it in. And put that end close to your banana comb. So w when you're done with this style it'll be easier to fi find your bobby pins because they're all under there. 
and twirling the ends keeps them from you know getting knotted so you don't have to worry about having knotted ends later on so twirl your ends and fold it under and pin it so you want to do that all the way around the the banana comb so twirl it fold it under and pin it so I'm just gonna hurry up and do the back and the sides when you do the sides you want to be careful to make sure that you cover the banana comb uh, completely and you, you want your hair stretched when you do this style but not totally stretched you want to have some curls to it so there's a little bit of contrast in the textures um, that show up because if it's partly stretched and partly curly it looks more funky that way to me you know unless you're not into a funky style then you can just do it with straight hair or or uh, all curls either way it looks good this for me is the closest thing I get to an afro puff so um, I really like this style I'm just finishing it here in the back. Twirl. So make sure you always pin all the bobby pins up under the you know the banana comb. So that way, when you're taking your hair out, you can feel right there close to the banana comb. You don't have to figure out where to search for them because you don't want to be a bobby pin hunter. <laughs> So just do all the sections like that. So once you finish bobby pinning all the sections, you know, you check to make sure that your banana comb is covered all the way around. And once you're sure of that, then you can go in and open up this puff some more if you want it bigger. You just pull it apart with your fingers like that and you know like open up all the sections uh, so you have a bigger puff if you need a bigger puff. Uh, so I need to put another bobby pin because I don't want this side sticking out as much. Uh, so that's how I do it. And, you know, that's how. So that's my final result. And that's what the puff looks like. So it's pretty neat. And, you know, I have my bang. And so that's what it looks like. And um, I wear this style uh, pretty regularly. It's, you know, either this or my wash and go. Or I'll stretch all the hair out and do a tighter bun. Uh, but that's how I do it. So hopefully you guys um, saw it clearly enough and you understand what I do uh, to get it to look like this. And, you know, if you need me to make the video over because you can't see it well enough, just let me know and I'll do the whole thing over. But that's the idea. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and drop me a, and uh, let me know how you like it. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.